This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. This video is going to look at creating a simple form on a single table, but also creating what we call a master detail form, where we're working with two tables, two underlying data tables. So we'll look at the data model, which is what we import as the data dictionary in SQL Developer, and look at what makes sense as a master detail form. We'll create a simple form for people and a master detail form for people employees. So first, let's take a look at the data model. So I logged in to SQL Developer and I did the import of the data dictionary, which we've done a couple of times in previous videos. I wanted to show you this because now that we have created some more lookup tables, using Apex Object Browser Create Lookup. This diagram is getting more complicated. So we have a lookup here, 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 and we don't need all of those when we're making decisions about how to create forms as master detail or simple forms. I'm going to pause the video and re-import this diagram, but I will leave off the lookups so that we're looking at our primary data tables. So when I'm at this point or this stage in importing, I will uncheck the lookups. I will also check to drop when it merges the existing diagram with what I'm trying to import now. So I have my simpler diagram with the main data tables. I'll rearrange those and zoom in. Early on in the videos, I talked about the fact that there are some tables for which it makes no sense to try to show the table itself and its data without the associated data in another table. So we created a simple form on animals because the data here stands alone, if you will. We can see meaningful data when we look at the animal table through a form. We can do the same for persons. However, when it comes to a transaction, we need to see the associated animal or we need to see the associated person. The transaction table by itself is just not that useful. It's, it's on the many side, which is not always, but a very strong indication that you want a master detail. What you get with master detail is a one-to-many relationship or one-to-one. -one. That's what we'll get with persons and employees, a one-to-one -one relationship. I would not show activities also without showing at least some of the related data in the animals table. So I'm going to create a simple form on persons, and then I'm going to create a master detail on person as it's related to employee. So I'll log in to Apex as one of my developers. So I'm logged in as Mina Mendez and I'm going to go into daily operations. This is our development application where we try things out. I'm going to create a page and it will be a form and it will be a report with form on a table. I'm going to say if it's people related that we're going to start in the page number 50 to 51. So this will be, the table is called persons but I'm going to say list people. And the form page will be person info. I'm not doing breadcrumbs in the development, but you can do them if you want. I'll go ahead and click Next. And I will create a navigation item. It'll be under People. And it will be for the Persons table. So I'm using Persons People interchangeably. I'll click Next. And we're doing the form. We can have Apex manage this by row ID or by primary key. I'm going to go ahead and select primary key, purse ID, and I will click Create. 
save, and run that. Here we have the report. Remember, we always enter the form through a report. And you know, when I first started working with Apex, I found this a little irritating, but it actually is a very useful way to approach the data. But I could come up here and say, well, it's, it's uh, you know, I think it's Sanchez. I think it's Sanchez. And that will narrow it down to the two Sanchez's in the people's table. And then I can pick the one I want to view in the form. So actually having the report as a way to sort and filter data before you go into the form is very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and go into one of these. And we're looking at the Teresa Sanchez data. I'm going to edit this form. And we've done this before. On the left-hand side, I pick the page item, and I'm going to pick middle name, and scroll down, and start new row, no. And then on last name, I will say start new row, no. On address, that's fine, start new row. On zip, I'm going to put no. And then actually for date created right now, I'll set this to display only. This is data that should be populated by the database management software. It's not something we should be entering in. So I've made a few changes here. Let's save that and run that. So when it comes to zip code, we want to get a list of the available zip codes. So I'll make another quick edit, and that will be zip. We'll switch to select list, scroll down then, and we have to say we want it from the shared components. We want it from the shared components. And we want the, the zip list. So I'll save that and run that. So it's showing the zip code, but when I'm selecting, I can see the city and the state. We'll tweak the display in a future video. But in this video, I also want to do master details. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So back at Page Designer, I could do Create a Page. And on this one, I want a form. And this will be a single page. Let's see. Do I want? I'll do a single page master detail, and then I'll do another one. So this is going to be 53 as the page number. And the master would be person. I'll create a navigation item under people. And I think I'll change it to people here to be listed in the menu. So the master region would be person. And that would be based on the person's table. I will have that managed by the primary key and click Next. The detail region will be employee info. That will be off of the employees table. Notice I'm only getting the related tables. Apex is filtering out anything that's not directly related to the person's table. That's a nice feature. And again, I'm going to manage that by purse ID. The primary, uh, actually, no, the primary key column is imp ID. The relationship here is purse ID to purse ID. Purse ID to purse ID. Purse ID is the primary key in the person's table, and it's a foreign key in the employee's table. So I'll click Create, and I'll save, and I'll run that. So I have list people, and then I have people. So I have a different look here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this other than to create these so we can start seeing how these forms look when we're doing master detail. But if I select Mary Lou and scroll down, I see the related data. Now, she is not an employee. That's why I'm not seeing anything here. So let's filter on Sanchez again. And if I click Yolanda, I don't see a related record. If I select Teresa, 
I do see a related employee record. So what we're seeing in the first top half of the page is all people, clients, as well as employees, volunteers, and veterinarians. And in the lower half, we're seeing the related employee data if that person is an employee. So I want to edit this page and look at what we're displaying here. The purse ID is being hidden. It's the primary key, you know, and I want to see it. It's display only, but I want to see it. And just as important, over here on the left-hand side, look at the difference here. This is not a simple form, but a master detail. We have two regions, persons and employee info. So on this one, which is the detail side, again, I have imp ID and purse ID, and they're hidden. And notice I can select both of them if they share the same attribute, then I can change that simultaneously. So now when I click Save and I display that, I'm seeing the purse ID. I didn't put a label on that. I'll come back real quick and do that. So I'll come up here to Person, and where it's purse ID, because it was hidden, there is no label on it. So the heading is going to be purse ID. Similarly, if I come down here for purse ID, I'll say purse ID. That's the column heading. For employee, I'll do imp ID and save that and run that. So we're getting those labels. So I can see that the, there is related data. If I click on Teresa here and uncheck Yolanda, then I'm seeing the 90151, 90151. So this is the people data about Teresa. I can even come up here and do single row view. I'm seeing Teresa and then her related employee information. We'll do more with Master Detail Forms in future videos.